Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team and today we are in the Fox stand and today we're gonna to be talking about one of our brand new products. It's the BG SDIT PG G2. That G2 stands for second generation. This is our brand new SDI pattern generator. And I love this thing. It's very simple to use. It's plug and play like most of our products, but it gets the job done. It has two 12G SDI outputs, as you can see here on the end, as well as 3G SDI outputs, uh, dual, so you can have actually four outputs going at once, which is amazing. And um, 12G is, of course, 4K at 60. 3G is 1080p at 60. And uh, it could do it for everything in between, even uh, lower resolutions as that. So this is a great tool for your integrators, even dealers, installers. Um, if you're testing cables, you're testing uh, your SDI sources, you just want to take it to a monitor, it could, it could do it all. It's actually very easy to use. Just plug in the power source and you're, you're good to go. So today we're just going to do a little demonstration. Just plug it into our 12G monitor here and just show you what it offers, what it can do, different patterns, even audio sound it does. And uh, let's get rolling. So first thing we're going to do is plug in the power, turn it on, take a second to turn on. And there we go. All good to go. Uh, it shows a nice bright screen there. Um, so actually, and then I'm gonna connect it to our monitor. I just have a short little SDI cable. I'm gonna do the 12G output because um, the monitor supports 12G, same as the unit. And uh, boom, there we go. We have our co color bars there. Um, so starting off, as you can see, um, you have your menu button. The menu takes you first. First option is the output. Here, you just hit enter and you can uh, select your resolution. You got it. So you can do from 4K, 2K, NTSC, uh, PAL, PAL, 720p, 1080i, 1080p, um, and then there you go. So I'm gonna hit enter on that, and there it switches. And then I'm gonna go back, hit the menu here, and then you can also adjust your frequency, 60 hertz, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 97, 30, uh, 50, uh, 5994. Um, so, so many options on or frequency there. So, depending on your situation, setup, monitor, um, if you're looking to test a certain refresh rate, we got you covered there. Uh, and the menu button actually acts as um, uh, the back button. So, that, that's your output. So, next is the video. So, this is where you can um, select your pattern. There's a, you got your bars here. All you do have to do is to hit enter. I'm going to do 9075 percent bars, check field, you got your EQ, we got you from, you know, colors from left to right, your blacks and reds, you got your blues, to, blues to blues or blues to black. What else we got here? You got your vertical colors, you got your horizontal colors, just fading from left to right. You got some um, stairs. And there's just so many options here. I don't even know what to do. Red, green, blue, white, <laughs> and you can have a lot of fun. You got some uh, some noise there, you got, you got your circles. Um, so what are you looking for? Just to get your color dial in, we'll get you covered there as well. Um, you got some text there, pattern generator, there you go. You, get, you can change the color of your text, just comes on down, just some white text. Yeah, that's still going on hit menu once to get back and then we got our timer we even we got our little timer there black and white you can switch your so we're just going to do it all all right that's your pattern so i'm going to hit the menu again this time you get some audio i turn the audio on and you can change the decibels so we'll do minus six and as you can see there is your fun audio sound so you got your audio you test your audio and we got motion, which you got squares. So if I wanna put some squares on there, so if I wanna test that, I got squares one, I could even do two squares. Where's the other one? There it is. And then we can do inverse, where you have the colors are sw swapped. And so you can see that the squares are behind. Now we can just turn that off and we can just go back to square one. <laughs> no pun intended. And you can do the speed of your squares. We just want to slow it down. There you go. And last option is uh, system. This is here we can um, set your preset on 
On the front of this unit, this is actually a great feature, uh, which I love, is you have your presets, a little dial there, and so you can set all your presets. Um, so if you have a certain resolution um, pattern that you like to use, you can just set that in there, and you just save it to that preset, and then you can call it on this dial here. And then there's a factor reset. If you get so far lost, you can restart yourself and you had your version. So um, let's go back, or I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I'm gonna go to my first preset here, which is, um, actually I wanna go to the other one. That's a very low resolution. I'm gonna go to this one, which is, there we go. I just wanna get my to my 4K. There we go. I'm at my 4K at 60, my 12G. This, mon this monitor shows you the actual resolution as well, so you can confirm that it's coming through. Um, but as you can see, everything else here is from the, the generator. Um, so you can save that. And I'm just kind of flipping through. We got our um, NTC, sorry, NTSC um, at almost 60 hertz here. So as you can see, Anything you need, it has. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's really easy to use. Buttons are really easy to push. They're actually, you could tell that you're actually pushing the button. The screen is nice and bright, um, so you can see what you're actually seeing. Uh, presets are great. Uh, multiple outputs, if you're looking to uh, just set up multiple monitors at once, you could do that as well, and uh, you're good to go. Like I mentioned, this is great for integrators. If you wanna test like even like a cable, even uh, test your monitor, test your resolution of your source. Like I mentioned, this is our next generation of pattern generators because um, it supports that 4K, that 12G. So if you're looking for that, we got you covered. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us here at Tech Support or even hit up one of our sales associates. They'd love to speak with you, talk to you, answer any questions you may have, or how this would be a great solution for your environment and in any of your setups. Uh, you can always leave in a comment below this video. Um, we'll get back to you, or even questions, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos that like these come out. And as always, have a great day.